Hi, this is Allison from Health Nut Nation, and today we're going to talk about protein powder, and specifically what protein powder is and what the difference is between whey protein concentrate and whey protein isolate. Whey protein powder has long been very popular with athletes, specifically bodybuilders, who drink it within an hour of working out to build lean muscle mass and help prevent fatigue. However, recently it's become very popular in the weight loss industry. I know that I was introduced to it about a year ago when I read The 4-Hour Body by Tim Ferriss because I needed to get 30 grams of protein within 30 minutes of waking, which I found kind of difficult to do. So I turned to whey protein powders and I started doing a lot of research on them to see what ingredients uh, are better and which ones are worse. And um, so today we're going to talk about whey protein concentrate versus whey protein isolate. And also talk a little bit about exactly what whey is, where does it come from, what's it derived from, and why is it popular in the weight loss industry. So let's talk about whey. Whey is actually derived, it's a byproduct from the milk industry. And this, this is whey, I have this in my refrigerator, and you can kind of see that the top has a little bit of the fat still on it. Now, I make my own um, kefir and yogurt, and the whey separates from the cream, from the fat. So this is a very low in fat, high in protein concentrate right here. And a lot of times in the milk industry, this is being thrown out. However, in other countries, the, the actual whey is sold as a health drink. And um, I've tried drinking it just alone and it's really bitter. So um, that's why so many sweeteners are added to our whey protein powders because the whey alone is pretty bitter. I have another shot here. This is actually coconut uh, milk but you can see that the fat has come away from the actual water. So it's just exactly the same as the whey. You can see that the whey is a little bit more yellow, but it, it separates in the same manner, leaving um, the fat at the top and just basically the water with um, the lactose, which is the sugar part of milk, and um, the fat at the top so, and the protein at the bottom. So let's talk a little bit about the difference between whey protein isolate and whey protein concentrate and then we can talk a little bit about the products that have both a mixture in them. First of all, the, let's talk about the whey protein isolate. Uh, oftentimes whey protein isolate is considered the premium protein powder. Bodybuilders will typically tell you that isolate is the only way to go and that concentrate is garbage and a waste of your money. Um, which you're going to have to decide that for yourself at the end, what, which one you want to go with. So I'm going to tell you the pros and cons of the isolate to begin with. One of the pros of the isolate is that it is very pure. So if you are at all lactose intolerant, this is the isolate is going to be the way for you to go because it doesn't contain any lactose and it is very low in fat. So you're likely to be able to digest this just fine. Also, if you um, are taking this for health reasons such as um, digestive issues or um, maybe cancer and you need to build that protein up, this is more easily digestible because it has been broken down. Which leads me to a con. It's been more broken down. It's been more heavily processed. It's been something called denatured, which means that the actual protein and the amino acids within that protein, the structure of those have been altered. And that means that um, they have also been processed using acid, which can render that protein a little bit dead in your body. Not so great. Uh, and I know that there's a lot of you out there who will completely disagree with me on this, and that's okay. Uh, Dr. Mercola is not a fan of protein isolate. He will tell you that it is garbage and that whey protein concentrate is the only way to go. So, like I said before, you're going to have to decide on your own uh, after listening to the various pros and cons of both and make your own decision. Whey protein concentrate is typically not denatured. You can check, like this, um, this one says non-denatured. Um, sometimes a whey protein concentrate 
is denatured, which means that it is just more heavily processed. So um, the good thing about whey protein concentrate is that it's cheaper. And uh, that's because it's not as pure. They're not throwing basically as much of the product away because they're not getting down to the little itty bitties. Now, as I said before, Dr. Mercola will tell you that whey protein concentrate is the way to go because uh, the structure of the protein is much more biologically available to your muscles and to your metabolism than the isolate because the structure of the protein has not been changed. Let's talk a little bit now about when they mix the two products because a lot of the more inexpensive products out there are a mix of the whey protein concentrate and isolate. And um, that really helps with the pocketbook, that's for sure. And you need to read the label on it to see how much whey protein concentrate, how much whey protein isolate there is in it. And the good news is that when you get a mix, um, that whey protein concentrate takes a little bit longer to digest because it's not such a pure form. So it can keep you full just a little bit longer than the whey protein isolate on its own. So as I said before, whenever we're talking about the whey protein concentrate versus the whey protein isolate, the whey protein con concentrate has more fat in it, has more lactose in it. So take the whey protein isolate it has zero grams of fat. The whey protein concentrate has 10 grams of fat. And then this one, which is a mixture, has 15 grams of fat. Now, the good news about that is that fat helps you digest protein. You don't want to have zero fat with your protein because it doesn't digest as well. And actually, very high concentrates of protein without any fat deplete your vitamin A stores very quickly. And vitamin A is an essential nutrient in your body that you absolutely do not want to have depleted.